Nine months ago, I posted what I consider my first video. And at the time of this recording, it has over 2.4 million views. And three days ago, I uploaded my next video as a follow up to the first. It got 2000 views. Yeah, that's a huge difference. And as sad as I was, I have a feeling that in the future, I'm gonna be glad that this happened. Hear me out. So I know the initial thought is, oh, you shouldn't care about the views. You should be doing this for fun. That's what YouTube is all about. And to that, I say, yeah, you're right. Although the video didn't perform well, I'm still very proud of the video I worked on, but I still can't help but feel the way I feel. Honestly, it's really hard to just outright ignore the numbers like people say to do, especially on top of the additional things it brings up, which I'll get into later because it's a lot more than it looks. If you're a content creator, you might already know what I'm talking about. Second, people might bring up, why did you take so long to upload? And we'll get into that too, but first, let me add some background. On April 7th, 2023, I uploaded my first hardcore Minecraft video onto Air Kirby. I didn't expect that much. After all, it was just a basic Minecraft let's play. No crazy projects, no crazy mega builds or anything like that. Just straight up Minecraft. For the first 12 hours it was uploaded, it virtually had zero views. I went to bed, woke up, and realized, oh geez, the algorithm actually picked it up. It went from zero views to a thousand, a thousand went to a hundred thousand, and after some time, it eventually made its way all the way to 2.5 million views. And naturally, I was super happy. I couldn't believe it. On top of that, I learned that my close friends that knew about my video success were telling their friends. And my other friends that I've grown distant to were reaching out to me again to congratulate me. Everything in that moment was amazing, but something deep down inside me was cooking, and at the time, I didn't really know what. As I mentioned earlier, my most recent video was uploaded 9 months following the first, and nobody knew why there was such a large gap, not even myself for a while. I mean, I finished all the recording and everything that I needed the same month the first video was uploaded, so why was it taking so long? For a while, I was blaming on anything else I could've, just stacks and stacks of excuses. Things like, oh, it's because of school, oh, it's because I'm moving out, oh, don't worry, I I'm still working on it. Of course I wasn't. And towards the end of the year, seven months later, I really stopped and thought about what was going on with me. In short, I was afraid. Yeah, 2.5 million views is awesome, and I couldn't be more grateful for those supporting me. But with that came a lot of expectations. Expectation to do great, expectation to do more. And that terrified me. The more attention I received from the success of my video, the more scared I was to fail. Many of my friends and family knew that I wanted to do YouTube for real for real. And with YouTube, they could watch my every move. They could see exactly how often I'm uploading, how well it performed, whether people liked it, whether people hated it, everything. And you know what that means? They could see me fail. My fear of failure overwhelmed my desire and passion to entertain people. So I needed to put a stop to it. Was I really about to let this go because I was afraid? No, I, I couldn't. With the additional motivation from friends, I was able to pick myself up, sit myself down, and really go to work. The fire was back. I was editing non-stop, making the next banger. And on January 29th, 2024, I finally uploaded the second episode. Now, I wasn't expecting the same result as the first video. That'd be pretty unrealistic. But I definitely wasn't expecting a complete flop. And I want to re-emphasize here, I know YouTube shouldn't be for the views. And again, super proud with the video I made. I had a ton of fun making it, but damn, I still can't help but feel this way. It's like all my fear and overthinking about failing I mentioned before was validated. A big old I told you so from the negative side of myself. It was hard. Friends and family knew I was hyped to upload it, and when it finally was, they were all genuinely supportive of me and genuinely enjoyed it. But I also knew from the tone of their voice that they saw the same numbers I was, and they knew that I saw it too. Now, I'm able to accept compliments well, but I knew some of them were just trying to make me feel better because they knew the video wasn't performing that well. And look, I love getting compliments just as much as the next person, and I know it wasn't anyone's intention at all. All my friends and family are literally the sweetest people out there, but it just felt really embarrassing. I didn't like it at all. I was proud and happy with my video, but it's hard to truly believe that when looming over you are the thoughts of embarrassment from people you care about and hold close to. It's a feeling I can't and will never forget. So, 
Why am I making this video? Well, first, it's to my future self. But I also understand that my friends and family and episode one supporters are here, and I want you guys to hear this too. What happened with the second video really sucked. But I learned what's the point of feeling that way. Yes, it's okay to feel upset or disappointed sometimes, but I gotta put in the effort to pick myself up. I can't have another instance of me just sitting around for nine months doing nothing. I regret that heavy and it's never gonna happen again. This time to pick myself up, I'm not even joking. I told myself, hey, it is what it is. Ain't nothing changing if you just stay sad. If the embarrassment was really that impactful on you and you don't want it to ever happen again, figure out how to improve and move on and just do it. Just get good, for real. You know damn well you're capable of making a good video already. Change what you need to change and you'll figure it out easy. So yeah. This is where the grind really starts. We're doing it. No more sitting around and feeling bad. This is the turning point for me. And this video is me speaking that into existence. I mean, damn, how embarrassing would it be if I just failed again? <laughs> but that's not gonna happen. If I fail, who cares? I've already decided that I love making these videos and failing is just another lesson. <laughs> Anyways, to my future self watching back at this, I hope it looks good up there and I'll see you soon. Bye.